For someone like me who's always on the go, having a reliable everyday carry setup is very crucial in keeping things organized and prepared for anything on the way. In this video, I share my essential everyday carry items for 2023 and why I take them with me on an everyday basis. Let's start with the wallet. For over 9 years, I've been using this wallet from Alan Dillon and I've taken it literally everywhere with me. The stitching has held up surprisingly well for all these years and the leather has developed a beautiful patina over time. It was about time for an upgrade and the kind folks over at Belroy recently sent over their hide and seek wallet for me to try it out. I've loved using the wallet so far and the leather feels very soft to hold and the stitching is neatly done. I've kept all my bank cards to the right side and my identity card to the left. The wallet also has a neatly integrated hidden pocket in the cash compartment. I put all my business cards in the front one and there's also one at the back which stores a band-aid and a wallet multi-tool which I picked up online. The tool is very slim and has a flathead screwdriver, a bottle opener and a few hex wrenches to be used now and then. My current phone of choice is the iPhone 13 mini which I picked up on a recent trip abroad. As a part-time creator, I was particularly drawn to its powerful dual camera system in such a compact form factor. In fact, the video itself that you're watching right now is shot using an iPhone 13 mini. In terms of performance, the phone does remarkably well for everyday tasks. The screen may be a bit small for heavy users, but it's not something I think much about as I rely on my computer with a bigger screen for a heavier workload. I also loved how this phone integrates seamlessly with other devices on my Apple ecosystem. It is particularly helpful to share items on my clipboard, browser tab, or picking up calls from other devices. Securing the phone is an official leather case from Apple. It is relatively more expensive, but I love how it maintains the clean aesthetic of the phone while still providing an additional grip and drop protection. It is also MagSafe compatible and has metal buttons which have the same tactile feel as the original one on the phone itself. I have also started to carry the second generation AirPods when I'm out these days. It's a 3-year-old tech from 2019, but still serves the purpose of being a dependable wireless pair of earbuds when I'm working out or taking a walk outdoors. I'm not an audiophile by any means, but these still sound better than any other earbuds I've tested on the similar price range so far. If you're on an Apple ecosystem, they are an excellent pair of earbuds for everyday use and I don't see myself upgrading them anytime soon either. I almost never leave my house without wearing a watch and I've recently fallen into the rabbit hole of learning more about the automatic watches. The one I decided to build my collection with this time is the Seiko SNXS79. It is a beautiful and affordable offering from Seiko which holds an exceptional value for money. It has a clean design, a beautiful black sunburst dial which complements the silver on the body really well. I love the fact that these devices are so mechanical, yet they feel so lively since they get all the power from the motion of our wrist. I wear the Seiko most of the time outdoors and sometimes switch to my last year's Galaxy Watch 4 when I'm working out or measuring my body composition. The next most frequently used item that makes out of the house with me is my keychain which is from an Australian brand, Jibon Key. This keychain was sent over to me by Jibon and I've loved using them so far. It looks very similar in design to the more popular offering from OrbitKey, but it has some clever changes and updates. Firstly, it's very quick and convenient to add or remove keys, as it does not require any tools to do so. Secondly, the metal parts are fully wrapped with a fine leather, which prevents my phone from getting scratched even if I put it in the same pocket. Along with the keys, there's also a multi-tool in the key organizer, and I typically use it to tighten my tripod mount to my camera or open up my packages. The removable D-ring on this other side is also fixed and I've attached my scooter's key fob to go with it. I also carry my sunglasses and a pen depending on the day and the destination that I'm heading towards. I've been wearing these sunglasses from a London-based brand called Gunda for a while. For the fraction of the price of the more popular brands, they are similarly well-built, polarized and have a built-in UV filter to protect my eyes from the sun. The classic addition to my EDC for 2023 is the pen from Parker. It's slim and compact and carries its unibody steel design with elegance. So there you have it. These are all the items on my everyday carry for 2023. And as always, links to all the products are in the description box below. Until then, stay happy and healthy and see you in the next one.